Um, I. They don't spring water rates on you, right? They don't. They don't do that in uh, any other cavern. I think I. They better not. This just feels like a a water wraith type cave. I need. Let's see. Do I need more blues? Here. Do I need more blues or more yellows? Uh, it doesn't actually matter. So let's pitch a yellow and make them blue. Okay, so what are they setting up for here? What I'm thinking is they're if there's a water wraith, though I, I, can't, I highly doubt it. They're making it intentionally difficult for me to clear out the cave because of the oh, really because of the anode be, or the antenna beetle. And so it takes me a long time setting off the water wraith. If there's one here, but I I really don't remember if they Whoa! Oh! Okay, that's what they're doing. They're, that's what they're doing. They're making it so I can't find the the snagrits. That makes more sense. But it also means I'm a lot less scared of of this cave. Because snaggerts aren't that difficult. Uh, originally I said that they were my least favorite boss, but no not anymore. And got him. Wait, what? Who's drowning? Who's drowning? Who's drowning? Who's drowning? Uh go away. Alright, fall back down. There he is! That's a glitch. Notice that? Look, watch the water carefully. There it is! Yeah, that's that's a a major glitch right there. If I you can see the ripples from off of his body uh before he shows up. That's that's a developer oversight. I'm sorry, but I, I can totally fault the developers for that one. Uh you guys I don't I don't need you there. I don't need this gate. Yeah, I don't need it. Oh, uh, what is this? A shish kebab? What even is this food? What? It looks like ice cream, but I know it's not. I, I'm not sure what that is. Is it mochi? It might be mochi. What is here? Nothing, nothing. Alright, we got the loop. Which is kind of fun to play with in the, the viewer. Uh, yeah, there we go. Stupendous lens. So that's what they intended for us in this cave, is to conceal the location of the snagrets. But just by going for the antenna beetle first, it's fairly easy to sniff out. Triple sugar threat, which makes me think that this is indeed mochi. Hmm. R wait, what? Oh, I'm, I'm dumb. Really? Really, pal? <laughs> I bet you guys were yelling at me. I was treating this like it was a, a candy pop bud. Or a, a queen candy pop bud. I was just throwing one in. Sorry, my apologies. Okay, we're done. I'll wait for them to flower. And I'll leave the president here to make sure that happens. I'm guessing there's another snagger. There he is. Kill him. And he's done. <laughs> Poor guy. Poor guy. He didn't even have a treasure in him. So, actually, I'm wondering if they're so easy because they're they're manipulating their health. Also, this is this is kind of dirty. They're that's that's really dirty. Okay. Well, I guess I'm having to do this now. They're filtering the amount of Pikmin that I can bring in here. Or at least making it difficult for me, so I I conveniently use fewer Pikmin than I think I'll need, and then they're going to spring a snagger on me. I see you, game. I see you. Here are you guys. If you're not doing anything, you're doing something wrong, so go work on that. And you guys can work on that. Which I'm guessing has two snaggerts in it. Where are they? Where are they? Uh, are there none? 
You, no. You have to be kidding me, game. There's... There are snaggerts in here. Maybe not. Huh. That's odd. This room just exists for no reason. That's... It's kind of confusing. That's actually really confusing. You take that. Maybe they'll spawn after I... After I do a prerequisite. Maybe they're a trap. I'm guessing once I grab this lid, maybe they'll... They'll spawn? This is confusing to me. Alright, they're flowers. And that's... That's it for this cave, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, boy. Come on. Come over here, come here. Oh, why did I do that? Why did I do that? Hopefully that refreshes the timer on them drowning. That was incredibly dumb. Wow. Four-leaf clover. I have hundreds of those. I'm not kidding. I have at least a hundred four-leaf clovers. Refresh the timer. Okay, no. I was very dumb. Ah. That, that was dumb. I uh, let so many people die. I totally forgot about the water. It wasn't really even the game that killed me. It was just my own stupidity. That's, that's sad. Really, pal? Uh, I, I feel, I feel guilty for that one. I'm, I'm focusing so much on what could be that I'm not focusing on what is. And that's, that's a problem. All right, the last treasure of the floor goes to the lid. Anytime now. Danon, fruit on the bottom. Same great taste. Uh, Salivatrix. I have, I have no clue what this is from. I've never seen this brand. All right, on to the next floor. What will have? Snagrits? Probably Snagrits. Final floor. Well, you guys know my stages. First, find a safe place. Find a safe place, because I'm a snowflake. You know what? I, I won't apologize for that one. Uh. Step two. Investigate. Not the main area, because I know what's in this main area. And I don't want any part of it. I'm... For the moment, I'm just curious as to what is a nearby. Okay, an egg, just nectar. I, I really don't want to investigate quite yet. Just one more egg, one more egg. Yeah, I knew it. I, I should have called it. it. When I know these things, I really should call it. It would make me seem all that more cool than me saying I knew it after I already see it. I was actually going to guess that this spray was here. Okay, push him in. And take a drink myself. We actually, we haven't used one of these sprays in a while either. The, the spicy sprays. We've just been using bitter. Okay, uh, grab yellow Pikmin. Not white. Yellows. White Pikmin, go away. Okay, here it is. The Piliated Snagret is the boss that, as a child... Well, first of all, we're, we're supposed to be introduced here to the Piliated Snagret, and we're not... Get him... Get on him. But this was the boss that, as a child, I sacrificed White Pikmin to. And you guys actually, in the comments, said that... Uh, I, I talked about doing that, and you guys said that actually the... The drops of the uh, bosses are dynamic, and that they will always... With, the, with a couple of exceptions, you can always carry them. They will scale down depending on the number of your Pikmin. There he is. And... I... Oh, I saved him! This guy's actually kind of a coward compared to the other Snagrits. He's also... Most of his attacks have been at the slow get up. And get him in. Cool. And come back out, come back out. What do you got? Oh, that's a quick get up. Oh boy, that's not good, that's not good. 
Kill him! That's fair. That's fair. His his greed or his gluttony cost him his life. <laughs> that was okay. That was a funny animation. You've done it. That bird beast will trouble you no more. Processing. How curious. What what's that impressive mechanized masterpiece? There's our upgrade. It's about time. This upgrade is actually this is probably one of the better ones. Uh, are there any other treasures on this... This floor? There are candy pot buds, which... Ensures that I'll be leaving with 100 Pikmin. But there are no other treasures, it seems. Alright, well, we can come out of the open now. So... This is another cave that... It introduces... Well, it was kind of spoiled by the Hole of Heroes. The, the boss rush cave... Um, is supposed to be re rematches against most of the bosses that we've faced thus far. Actually, all of them. But instead, it ended up being an introduction to two bosses. Uh, the Empress Bullblax's a new attack, um, but also the Pileated Snaggeret. So this cave had... it lost a little bit of its allure, but it's still one of my favorites in the game. Justice Alloy. Bzzzr, does not compute a metal this dense defies the fundamental laws of physics and yet if I use this to rework our president's treasured spacesuit processing complete fabrication of the metal suit Z is now concluded now question it talked about the president's suit but it's entirely possible to come here with Louie so I wonder what it would have said then this suit is extremely durable. Getting gnawed or stepped on will now produce minimal pain. We're we're getting all of these upgrades for the end of the game, and I'm I for one I'm very glad that we got that one. Alright, so president, go there. I bel I'm not sure what the multiplier is that it it reduces our damage by, but I I'm guessing it it makes us take half damage. Okay, let's let's get these Queen Candy Pop buds. Um, we're going to leave with yellows, and then we're probably going to leave with blues here. And we're we're done. I'll I'll make sure I take that gate down as well, because it it could be it could have well at the very least it's going to flower our Pikmin. Oh, I meant for that to be blue. Oops, that's fine. But at the very least, it'll flower a Pikmin, but at the best case scenario, it'll give us a spray. So, technically, we haven't lost any Pikmin, so that's pretty nice. You guys get on that, and then I'll get working on this egg. And we'll wrap up the Awakening Wood. That's that's all there is to it. We're, we're done with the Awakening Wood. Yesterday, we were done with the, uh, the Valley of Repose, and now we're halfway done with the areas of this game. It's crazy. Okay, uh, actually, you know what? I need to make sure that I take this back. This is our, this is our trophy. Why would I not take this back? We, ha we harvested the head of our enemy. And... Done. Worth 15, just like all the other ones. Okay. Let's head to towards the surface. <laughs> eh, we lost 17 Pikmin, but we gained... We gained them all back, so... I don't think that- I don't count that as a loss. Whew! That's- That was a good cave. I- I am- I don't know. The, I have so many mixed feelings completing this. Part, some part of me is- is happy that we're doing this, some part of me is sad, as I've said before, and a larger part of me is just very hungry after that cave. In fact, before I record the, uh, 
the perplexing pool, the final day at perplexing pool, I'm probably going to eat something. And we're done. Let's let's see if we can put all of our Pikmin away and make one last run through. All of them but whites, just because whites have the capability of keeping up. All right. Actually, I probably could I, I could have just dismissed our Pikmin here. That's fine. I, I mainly I have a a target for where I'd like to go, or what I'd like to see. Over there. It's been. It feels like so long since we were we were there and saw those those uh, blue Pikmin for the first time. <sighs> it's. I I'm I guess I'm kind of doing a wrap up on every single single area, and for this one I'm not as sad as I am just satisfied with how this the series has turned out. But I have plenty of more, I have a lot more time to wrap this series up, so I don't have to, to say that, say anything now. But this has been a great area. I'm very happy with how it turned out, as, as I said. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit uh, upset with how I, how I managed this, some of those last sub-levels. I lost Pikmin for no reason. But I, I still have a net gain of of the specialty Pikmin. As long as I don't dip below 100 purple Pikmin, I'm fine with losing pretty much any number of Pikmin. But we still gained more than we lost, so or we gained as many as we lost. Or I guess we did gain more than we lost because I, I had some time there on the surface to, to harvest Pikmin. So yeah, this was still a productive day. And bug food once again. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me I could make the next episode so that you would like it. Tomorrow, we are going to be heading to the Perplexing Pool. And we're going to be completing the cave that, as a child, I completed the debt in. So look forward to that tomorrow. And tomorrow will be either Tuesday or Thursday, where I'll release a new episode of Pikmin. I also release new episodes of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday. I'll see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Pikmin, where we'll knock out the third area of the game. Whoa! Okay, we're doing this with the rest of our time this episode. We're playing Superman 64! This is kind of cool. I did not expect this. And it's also a good use of the children and preventing it from escaping. This is my bull bear trap. It can't get out now. It can't do anything. And so now, let me grab the rest of my posse. Now I can go deal with it.